going on guys, it's Mr. Busy here, aka Allen, and today, back with the GLI, like I said yesterday in yesterday's video, my intake did come in, have everything sitting right here for it, um, this is actually a temp 2 on this, uh, I have a turbo inlet, IE turbo inlet for it, but for the life of me it does not fit, I've tried warming it up, freezing it, nothing's fitting, so I don't know if maybe I'm just not doing it right, or it maybe it was a manufacturer problem, I don't know, but I've been at it for a while, so I'm just gonna move the intake so I can actually have some fun. And hopefully, this one goes a little better than that one did. Uh, but there will be a separate video on that whenever I decide to do that one or a different one. Um, but as you can see here, I have the intake, IE intake. I went a little overboard with the carbon fiber lid for it, but just because I wanted a lid for it, I didn't want just an open one, and it looks pretty freaking dope. You don't need that because it's $300 for just a lid, but it is real carbon fiber, so I mean, that's up to you. Um, yeah, I got all my different types of tubing and stuff that comes with the kit. I'm not going to make this an entire like how to like the discharge pipe just because it's kind of boring. It was boring to me to edit and to watch. So I'm going to put a link down below to the installation guide for that. And I will just basically show you guys when everything's off and doing some certain things. So I'm just going to do it that way. Uh, if you guys like the other way, the long boring version. Let me know and I'll do it that way, but if you like this better, let me know. So we're gonna get started here and get this ready to go on. I've already got the old intake out. Um, yeah, I got the old intake out. There is some coolant. You have to do uh, put a new coolant line in. I believe that's what this is for. And it should be, uh, send you um, a You get these two little fancy little plugs because you will lose a little bit of coin. So you basically take the lines off, but I'll get to that part and I'll show you when we do it so you kind of have an idea. So, yeah. Okay, I don't have the proper pliers here. I know I just said this was going to be a tutorial, but this is going to be kind of funny to watch us not spill coin everywhere. Uh, to get to this, yeah, if you get to this point, you're going to take the intake off and then there's going to be a T25 screw here and a T25 screw here that pops off this whole piece. And then can't take it back now uh, like I said the kit comes with these little plugs and my assistant here Cameron's gonna you gotta take you got a plug right here and you got a plug down here on the radiator so I have to take this off and coolant's gonna flow so it's Cameron's job here to not get coolant all over this garage floor because if it does that's my ass are you ready Cameron? not no, not really I really should have the right pliers for this are these really nice pliers at work? Alright, camera, are you ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> are you ready? Ready? No. Like Kevin Hart right now. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Leave the pressure from the <laughs> coolant before you do this, because if not, you get squirted on. Yeah, not the good way either. So we're just gonna do the other one now, because I mean, there's no pressure. Hopefully not, anyways. I'm sticky. Mm -hmm. We'll be back. All right, guys. Uh, we got the housing situated in here. Um, I don't know where I left off. Oh, left, yeah. Got the new line on here. So you can see it's running this way. And then you got to install these two grommets on here. You got to actually put these two pieces together, which I did. Uh, then you put, instead of the, the original bolts were right here, it said you're going to use this hole right here. This just sits in here. This doesn't bolt with anything. Uh, and uh, you gotta take your SIAI uh, hose if you have one and grab it and firmly grab firmly grab it <sighs> firmly grip it and rotate 90 degrees and you put this little fitting on your little hose here for it to go on and I'm assuming this other little tube right here is for this because this was just a vent thing that I used to have that just used to not be connected to anything so I'm assuming that's what that goes on I have coolant on my torch pipe that's cool 
That was just a bad day, boys and girls. So yeah, we're gonna finish getting this situated on to here. see she is done uh, there'll be a sound clip there at the beginning to see the afterwards uh, we're gonna put all the tools up it's dark out but we're gonna go we're all hungry because this took a little longer than it should have um, the cover was pretty it's, it's easy it's just it's very time-consuming there's all these little allen heads you have to uh, put on to keep it in place and including that one if you don't have the cover then you don't have to worry about that if you don't have the cover with the last part of the time you've seen this it would done um, so we're gonna go put these tools up uh, get everything cleaned up and then go get some food and I'll do some videos inside the car to see the sound difference hopefully you can hear it I'm imagining you can hear it um, one thing I noticed with this when it's sitting on high idle and you rev it you don't hear anything I mean you hear a little bit if you're out here but once it goes off high idle that's when you get the whoosh, whoosh. and once I get that inlet put on it should be a lot louder hopefully um, so let's go for a ride all right guys yes it is a different day obviously i got different clothes on uh it's actually bright out uh last night it was cold it's, we had a real bad snowstorm here so the roads were kind of crappy and I, all i was doing was spinning probably just going to spin again but i'm going to try and give you guys uh what it sounds like from the inside uh i'm at a dead stop right now um so we're going to try and hopefully you guys can hear it because you can hear it uh it's got a really unique sound to it it's not just like a normal intake sound um so we're gonna try here um, I noticed you hear it more after you get past 3,000 rpms so we're gonna try here uh, we're gonna do first with the windows up and it's just the cab you're gonna be hearing uh, I don't this is gonna be interesting just doing this with one hand and trying to you know, drive and hold this so this is this is just you know inside the cabin windows up not spin, don't go in here. yeah you hear all that salt that's nice ain't it I was by myself now, so I don't really know how I could get an outside, outside sound of it, but let's try this. So yeah, uh, you can definitely tell the difference, you can hear it, uh, it's it's really cool honestly uh, whenever I get the IE inlet uh, turbo inlet that should make the sound a little better because it's uh, the OEM like I said I'm gonna contact them tomorrow I don't know if uh, there was just a CNC error on mine but I tried you know freezing it uh, heating getting the motor to the operating temperature to expand the metal a little bit and for the life of me I couldn't get it I spent two hours and I just I could not get it uh, so I asked the forums and I did everything everybody was saying it wasn't working. So I'm gonna contact them and see what advice they might have. They might say, yeah, you could have had a piece that was just wrong or it's just that tight of a fit that it just takes a while to get on. I don't know. Um, but luckily that should that's pretty that's pretty easy mod to do. It's not uh, hard or anything. Uh, for the overall review on the intake, installation was pretty easy. Like I said, I didn't have like a full tutorial video like I usually do. I'm trying something different. So if you guys could please, please let me know if you guys would rather have the whole in-depth of me installing it or just like the cut in pieces like I did on this video um, so I can know what you guys like to see more. Um, there will be a video on just the turbo inlet uh, whenever I get a new one or try it again or whatever. So look forward to that. 
um, probably I want to do the short shifter on this and I also want to do the, uh, the 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 free mod the uh, shoot what's it called the clutch delay valve delete kit whatever you want to call it just take that little valve out so you can actually feels like you're driving a clutch that valve just makes it it's like a stall proof idiot proof kind of deal thing um, so I think that this is going to be it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, I think we're at 710 subs right now. Uh, like the video, comment. Um, if you have any questions on this intake, let me know. There will be an installation guide down below so you guys can see what I followed to put it on. Super easy install. It's not that hard. Uh, pretty nice sound. It's very unique. It's different. Um, so I think that is going to be all. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Later.